I just finished my trip to one of the largest and if not the largest Lego convention in the world, Brickworld Chicago. So I thought I would give you a little bit of a rundown of my experience as well as a whole of all of the things that I got on my trip. There's also a couple other things that I've gotten recently that I thought I would include in this haul too. But basically Brickworld Chicago, man, I had the best time. Last year it was the highlight of my year. Honestly, there was so many people there this year that I feel like I didn't even get time to actually spend with every single person that I wanted to because it was just absolutely crazy. So I'm sorry to anyone that I wanted to hang out with or talk to that I did not get time to talk to, though I feel like most people are that way. And it was also amazing to go and meet up and see so many people that I had talked to, met, hung out with, that I'm just friends with in general all over again. It was absolutely amazing and I could not have asked for a better experience. Let's get into it. I've kind of divided everything into a little piles. So firstly, I'll start off with just like my basics from the convention. I really did have to point out my Chicago mug. Then there was the Brick World goodie bag. I mean, I got my name badge and everything. And this year alongside the brick, I actually got my little brick built brick badge. With my ticket too, I got to pick a set. And on the first day when I went, they had the Thestrals Harry Potter set. So I snagged that up so I could get some more of the Thestrals. But my first Lego purchase for the weekend was actually just this bag of bulk parts. There was just this stand that had buckets sorted into different colors. So I grabbed a bunch. There is a ton of pink in here, because I want to be able to make the booze door build. The vendors this year though kind of sucked. I really had more fun, I guess, like going and exploring the custom selection that was available. So the first one I got was from K-Town Bricks. They had this like Lord of the Rings little tile as well as this kind of like potion little printed brick or whatever. Lauren bought tons of them and I kind of wanted to join in on that. I also went over to Brick Tactical because I was told that they had giant kind of like printed album artworks. So I had to get Red Taylor's version and then I also had to get Sweetener by Ariana Grande. These are two of my favorite albums of all time. I also got another Darksaber from Brick Tactical because I love their stuff and I even got a little Kylo Ren lightsaber and then a bunch of these like Lego Star Wars little character tiles. I also have a bag of unprinted pigs. Lastly is my Eclipse graphics haul. Firstly, I got the Philosopher's Stone because because it's the first one, it's a classic. And then I also picked up The Prisoner of Azkaban because this is my favorite movie. I also picked up a couple of their custom daily bugle tiles just to put with like my little bugle and just like Spider-Man sets in general. I also picked up this little like printed Pokeball. Lastly, I got these like printed two by four Star Wars like tiles, one for each of the prequel movies because I mean, they're my favorites at the end of the day. I was really hoping that they would have like the giant panels, but they said they'd sold out. But that's it for kind of the main vendors. I guess another thing that happened at the convention was the m and Mega Store, which was basically just like a tiny little Lego store set up within like a garden shed. But I picked up a couple of things from there too. Firstly was the pink lightsaber pen. A variety of the 212 clone troopers. Lastly, I got these printed set tiles of the UCS Imperial Shuttle as well as the 501st Battle Pack. These look absolutely amazing. And then because I purchased stuff, I got these free tiles. And that's pretty much everything I guess that I bought with in kind of the convention floor, but there was also a couple other things that I got, starting off with just, just basically gifts from my friends. So starting up first and very on theme, I guess for this time of year, is this set of three Spider-Man cork, cork, Corksicle. We have a basic Spider-Man one, we have a Miles Morales one, and then we have a Gwen Stacy one, which of course is pink. And these are absolutely adorable. And these were all from Lauren Brighter Switch Bricks. I love them. And I'm also just gonna like fill them, I guess, with like socks and other things to pack them in my suitcase. And then from Sands and the Plastic Architect, AKA Claire, they got me a couple of things from their Tokyo trip. Firstly was this Disneyland Resort toothbrush kit. There's tiny little Toy Story alien. I also have this Toy Story alien head band and like some like hotel slippers. Thank you very much guys for bringing them back for me. And then also from Lauren because she is an absolute legend she ended up getting a second copy of the original Chamber of Secrets set and she knew I didn't have it so she ended up giving it to me which I am really 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 excited for. All of these minifigures are in pristine condition like the knives on the basilisk's teeth and everything are all including forks is in here. I'm very very excited to build this and like review it. This is one of my most wanted sets out of the original Harry Potter. So thank you, Lauren. Next up is this Lego City Poly bag that 
I got from Brent's Bricks. He was doing like a little video and I got to pick a random prize. So I got this poly bag, which was fun. I also bought this pin. Tech made a bunch of pins in celebration of him hitting a thousand subscribers. So I just had to pick myself up a Planet Tech pin. And then JJ as well, the Lego office designer, gave me a signed tile, which is really cool. I'm gonna stick that on my office set once I finally build it. Speaking of the office though, I was able to collect my Dundee Award. So if you didn't know, Ant Bandit and all the builder a couple of weeks ago did this like giant office celebration and I entered and I ended up winning the That's What She Said Dundee. I don't want to get it out just because it's like packaged so well, but they made these like brick built Dundee Awards and I wanted one so badly. I was like, I have to enter, I have to win one. And I'm very, very lucky that I did, which again, this is going to go next to my office set once I finally build it. So thank you guys for running that competition. Next up is a custom Shy Time is My Time minifigure as well as a brick, of course, from Shy Time is My Time. Then we have a Firebird Bricks brick from Firebird Bricks. Then from Nicole, Girl Bricks a Lot, I got one of her stickers that was on display with her mock. And then she also gave me this custom Lego goat, which was really cute. And then I guess this is from Cody technically, but he also made these like I Survived Goat Yoga bricks as a ton of us went and did goat yoga on Saturday, which was so fun. And when we were going to, we got given each a pair of these like really cheap, but very stylish looking sunglasses. I absolutely love them and they perfectly matched my Barbie pants that I wore on Sunday. And then lastly for the friends things, firstly, JB Brick Fanatic stole one of the 2K chicken stickers and put it next to my mock, which was really cool. And then lastly, Orb the Builder gave me this Technic piece. If you know, you know. Then before I get to my yard sale stuff, I wanna as well show you guys some of the things that I got given at the convention, which firstly, thank you so much to everyone who came up and said hi to me. I really appreciate it. It absolutely made my weekend and it was really lovely to get to talk to so many of you and just say hi and put like faces to a name. So thank you so much to everyone. I reposted and kind of shared as many of the Instagram posts as I could, but I did actually get a couple of things from you guys and I don't even know how to like properly say thank you for any of this stuff but I thought I would show you anyway and some of which I might get confused with like which parts came from which person so please forgive me in that I had just a whirlwind weekend. But first up was this custom painted sig fig of mine which is really really cute and I cannot remember who gave this to me for the life of me so I am very very sorry but it is really really cool so thank you very much for that. Then from one of my channel discord twitch whatever mods cam he gave me a couple of things. Firstly was a duplicate of his painter Mickey's. He also found the, the Captain America minifigure with the original shield. This is gonna go on his little like members minifigure that sits in Diagon Alley. He also gave me my first ever Marvel Legends figure. I took her out of the box though, cause like I don't really care about in-box collecting. So I just kind of threw her in this little bag so that nothing got damaged in transit. <laughs> Cam also gave me the box to my little like Diagon Alley promotion that I've had lying around. And then inside of it was the ATAT -AT kind of like 20 year anniversary little diorama promos so now I have a full set which I am very very grateful for because I've been wanting to complete this for such a long time so thank you very much Cam. Now these next few things I want to say who it's from but then I know that like I saw the username of this person and then the name that I know them by wasn't listed. I know who you are and you know who you are but thank you so much for all of this stuff. Firstly is a Chicago travel mug. I constantly make tea too close to when I have to leave the house and he knew as well that I loved collecting like the Starbucks mug so I really, really appreciate this. Next is my first ever Harry Potter, oh my gosh, Harry Potter Funko Pop, which is Harry with like the golden egg and he's in his dragon outfit. I've been super addicted to them recently. And next up, this stuff is absolutely wild. If you watched my Brickworld Chicago haul last year, you would know that I was given very kindly a giant bag of just like a ton of super cool Star Wars minifigures. And he came back and he did it again. And I just, I'm in shock. Before I get into the minifigures, firstly was this bag of some of these Star Wars like trading cards. I bought a couple of these off eBay. So this is really fun. Firstly is this like holographic Rebels Ahsoka. We have a Golden Edition Grogu. I know these are quite rare, but I don't know like what the pull rate is. This one honestly is my favorite. It's like half Anakin, half Darth Vader. Very, very sick. We also have a shiny phase one Captain Rex and my girl Queen Amidala. These are all really, really cool. And next is the pile of minifigures. So there's one that I'm gonna save 
for the very end, but basically the rest of them is just a ton of the original Lord of the Rings and Hobbit minifigures, which is whack. I mean, he knew that I was trying to collect them all, so, you know, very, very much appreciated. And these are gonna go all outside of bag end. But also now, when I get around to building like Rivendell, I'm really excited to put these side by side, because firstly, some of them are just way better. Like Legolas, the original one is so much cooler. And as well, Saruman is the one from like the Tower of Orthanc with the skirt. Like, what? I am so incredibly grateful for this bag. It is very, very, very much appreciated. And then after I got told about all of the Lord of the Rings minifigures, I get a follow-up email being like, hey, I won this figure in like a blind bag auction on, on whatnot. Do, do you want it? That minifigure was Rebels Ahsoka. I'm sorry, what? Like, I haven't taken her out of this clamshell because, like, I want to protect her to bring her home because, like, the Leku is in pristine condition. She's in pristine condition. I don't want to take this out until I get home and then I can put this Ahsoka with the rest of my Ahsokas. I have all the Ahsokas now. I've, like, also, I guess now completed all of, like, my favorite Rebels figures, which we will get to. I cannot believe it. And especially just before the Ahsoka show, man, I cannot. Like this is like the coolest thing pretty much that I picked up from Brickworld. I am just so incredibly thankful to have her in my collection. Thank you so much. Which speaking of Lord of the Rings and Rebels, I guess that brings us into our final section and that is the yard sale. The yard sale this year was chaotic. Everyone is just like standing in this hallway. It's getting very sweaty. Martin's handing around cookies. Nicole and Aubrey had the best outfits on as well. And then the doors open and basically all hell breaks loose and every Every single a fall is acting like a bunch of vultures trying to just like snatch up things here and there. It was chaotic and honestly there weren't that many good deals I feel like in comparison to last year. However, some that I did get firstly are Nori and Ori from the Goblin King set and then also from this same guy they had the original back computer for like 15 bucks and I got it in kind of like combination with the dwarf. Some other loose minifigures that I got were just a couple of old Harry Potter ones. Then this item I picked up from the yard sale, but technically I snagged it off just like an Instagram story earlier. And this was the original Grand Inquisitor, which was from Brickingham. Basically, all of my Rebels minifigures are complete because the last and best deal that I got at the yard sale was the Phantom 2. And why, you may ask. Well, look, it was just such a good deal. And I was like, look, this is gonna be worth it for me because stupidly, I parted together this entire ship the week before Brick World because I was like, no one's gonna have this. I'm not gonna be able to get it. In fact, I even ordered the sticker sheet and got it given to me at the convention by one of my friends. So I, I'm missing one part out of the one I parted out. Really, I just bought this one because I want the build and two, I wanted Blank Canaan and it was such a good deal. Fingers crossed that works out in my favor, but I bought this, it was sealed. The box is dented, but I don't care. I'm gonna unbox this and I'm gonna throw it away. So, you know, I, I just, I cannot believe that I got that. It was absolutely wild. And I'm just like holding onto it so tight while walking around to the yard sale. And everyone's like, oh damn, like congratulations. Honestly, one good thing about the yard sale and just like brick quads, Chicago in general is that everyone was like super kind to each other and like just going around the yard sale everyone's congratulating each other on getting like good Lego deals it was the most wholesome environment ever and then lastly the things that I guess like I got outside of Brickworld firstly are these like three disc plate posters disc plate sent these to me a couple of weeks ago actually like I literally got them and like unboxed them on stream which was pretty fun but before I left I ended up hanging them up so like you might have seen them already in like the background of some of my Instagram photos but they're basically these giant like metal posters I love them so I like hung them up it was so simple as well it was just like this like basically this like sticky plate and then you stick a magnet to it and voila uh, and now I can swap all three of them out. So I got Tatooine, I got Hoth, and I got Endor. And I absolutely love them. They just kind of liven up my room a little bit. I have an affiliate link for display as well. So I'll leave that link in the description down below because I put together some of like my favorite ones. They had some really cool like lightsaber jewel ones, but these three, absolute favorite. I also went to eBay before I left for Brickworld because I was really, really desperate to get myself the Ahsoka season seven Clone Wars like black series. This one's also an open box, which like, again, I was gonna take it out of the box anyway, but since this is a rare one, I probably will actually keep the packaging. Usually I just like throw all my action figure packaging away, but that was really cool. And then the very, very, very last thing for this video is this like Princess Leia dress cosplay 
thingy that I bought. I saw that like a couple of like photos and just like TikTok reels about this like costume before and it looked incredible and I figured this would be great for like Disney Star Wars nights, Disney Galaxy's Edge, Instagram Star Wars reviews. Like how fun would it be for me to like dress up in costume for Star Wars reviews? I mean, I put my robe on for Harry Potter like let's branch out. I'm really, really excited for this. I guess I'm getting into cosplay, but that is everything. For anyone wondering, yes, all of this fits in my suitcase, um, but I am also going to Disneyland very, very soon and plan on buying like the chopper droid and a couple of other things. But otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.